so I think I'll... What am I going to tell the other brothers? Mm -hmm. We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. I put them right in the trash. I said, honey, if I'm going to spend my hard earned money, it's going to be vacation, okay. Yeah. I want to go somewhere with a civilized Thank language. Thank you. Yes, I have yeah. actually seen Bring that nephew bottle of weed. I had us some money. Maybe. My condolences. Spill it. What do you know? Well. Let's just say there was a lot more to the job bad fortune when his daddy now. died. I hate when I get stuck behind somebody using one. I see what you mean. You want to come over to watch the game on Saturday? When you're right, you're right. Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. Let's be civilized about this. There's right, there's wrong, there's crazy. And then, well, there's being a flag-waving banner supporter. And I just don't want to see you get your heart broke. Sure? Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. Big. Big old man dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough, hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Gonna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him. We're all connected. See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donna. Yes. These people are see mind. I see Remy. No. Wait. Something is wrong. Oh. Get me I out of here Remy. now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of affliction. <laughs> For Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is. I think. 
think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think we got here. Got an idea, dipshit. You were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Second time, boy. You 
with a sign over that land? Hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! bitch. Get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Christ, my hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy.
Unit, negative visual suspect. Stop the car. I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Oh, you, you see him hurt here. Let me the fuck out. How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand. Shit. I just want to go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Miss Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's it. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? He's gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer's gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante and ask him, fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did.
Take a load off, brother. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. Fuck him and fuck her. I've got nothing to speak of but Irish Point. And now that I give it a good think, since my Irish bastards have already secured the rackets at your fucking request, I think I'll just stay. Action like what we got right here is like wet pussy. If it's been long enough, ain't no such thing as a bad one. I want this piece. Here's the thing, Lincoln. Getting you boys in here vying for turf is guaranteed to end up a pissing contest. Just easy on everybody if you give me the territory like you did last time. A nation wants a... We talk about making money, but what it comes down to is respect. You get this to me? Well, this is all said and done. Think about who you want standing at your back. This turf's going to the Irish. Motherfucker, I was running vice rackets when you were still shitting your diapers. Fuck this. Goddamn, Vito. No wonder Leo kicked you to the curb. You bitch like me drunk mother-in-law. So are we done here? All right, that's it. We're done for now.